Hey, what's up? My name's Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about one of the super cute uh, contemporary romance books that I read recently. Uh, it is called Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. The cover just kind of shows you how cute it is. So this book was <laughs> one that I was not going to buy at first, at least not right away. Let me go, let me say that. Because I kind of have put myself on the beginning of this month in a little bit of a book buying freeze. I'm not gonna call it a ban, but I'm gonna call it a freeze because I was trying to read as much on my shelves as possible. But with this one, I literally kept walking through the bookstore and just looking at it and looking at it and looking at it and looking at it. So finally, my fiance was like, obviously you want the book. You should just go ahead and buy it. It's okay to break your freeze. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. So I got it and I read it. I started to read it like the next day. So what's Tweet Cute about? The basis of the book is that you have this girl named Pepper and she is uh, the daughter of these two parents who had started this big, huge burger shack chain. And they're starting this online campaign because they have a new line of burgers coming out and sandwiches and things like that. Pepper is kind of the typical millennial. She's used to Twitter and memes and does all these funny things and she's sassy. She is put in charge of this little project by her mom. On the other hand, you have Jack. Jack is a student at the same school as Pepper. They kind of don't like each other. So you've got kind of this enemies to lovers thing going on. And Jack, his family owns this tiny little sandwich shop deli in New York. But they don't know that each other has this business. They don't, they're not really friends. Pepper's family releases this grilled cheese that turns out to be the exact same recipe with the exact same name that Jack's family has been serving for 30 years at their deli. So it starts off with this Twitter battle between two parties that don't know each other. And then it turns into more. And it was really cute. It was really, really cute. I gave it a full five stars. I thought for a contemporary romance, it was super sweet, super fun, engaging, just an enjoyable read. It's what I was looking for in a contemporary romance. Really age appropriate, definitely some that adults could enjoy, definitely one that young teens, probably, you know, like 12 or older, just because it's an internet talking kind of thing, would enjoy as well. I really liked it. On Goodreads, it has a rating of 4.11 stars, but my personal opinion, it had everything that I was looking for in a YA contemporary romance, so I gave it a full five. The other thing was, I saw this book all over lots of people's pages, and I just kept seeing it on Instagram, everywhere, and I just really wanted it, really, really wanted it, and I kept having to tell myself, no. So many people had such high opinions of it, so I would definitely recommend you picking this one up. 